everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here with a very busy desk. I received some happy mail today that put me way over the happy scale. And I got something yesterday too that made me very happy. So let me go with the first thing is in a box that I got in the mail today, I got another box that was collaged and it was full of ATC goodies, ATC stencil size goodies from my friend Carla at What If NC. Um, she makes stencils and she makes some of my stencils and she makes other people's stencils. So I want to talk about Carla's stencils and I want to show you what I did today. So let's see. Um, where do I start? My lord, it's a mess. Now, I have not used all the stencils that she sent. I'm going to put these upside down so they're ready to go. I'm trying to use up all this stuff. Um, I did not use all the stencils, but I will go over all the pages that I have done so far so you can see what I've been up to. Except for now the paint bottles are in the way. <laughs> Doggone it. All right, well, let's do it this way. All right, so this is the star stencil. Uh, let me do it this way. Will that be better? Yeah, star stencil. Love it. This is my roll-off paper on the back side. And I did it with um, a dark blue, which I think was... Nope, that wasn't it. I think it was maybe this one. Uh, turquoise. Yeah, I'm going to stretch. Okay, and then this was the ghost print with the stars that I... Um, did with red paint over them to try to pick up the rest of this. And like I said, this is my roll-off paper. All right, there's that one. Um, this one is this stencil right here. Isn't that cute? The plaid. Oh, love it. And look what it makes. That is so cool. And just ignore this one. This is one of my stamps I was trying to cover up something else that was on there I didn't like. It was my own fault, not the stencil's fault. Oh, yeah, and there's more of my faults. Um, this one, where did I put it? Let me see. I have a bunch of dirty stencils in here. Okay, this one right here. Um, look at all... Oh, well, no, you can't see that, can you? All those little tiny circle goodies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So, I made this. This one is another stencil. Let me rifle through the dirty ones. I tried to put them kind of in the box so they wouldn't be on the desk. Uh, there you go. That's this one. I didn't do, I, I did yellow and then I did a, a very pale teal in the background. I, I should have used a darker color here with the pale teal because it didn't show up very well. All right. Okay, here's the circle thingy again. Aren't those cute? And here it is, trying to cover up a big mess I made, and I over-blotted the page. This one probably is my... I think this one might be my favorite for the way it turned out. Where is the stencil? Here we go. This is the sunflower stencil and um, each of these has a name and a number on it but I've covered them up with paint yes this one is the sunflower stencil I can read it upside down <laughs> all right so here's what it made I did this with a yellow and then did the beige background then I did this one with yellow and a red background I think the one with the, the red and yellow turned out so much better so that is the sunflower stamp. It, it is flippin' beautiful. Love it. Oh, yeah, and I made more. <laughs> There's um, a whole bunch. I tried to do layers, like really faint background and make it. Uh, it didn't work well. But I got some interesting looking papers. All right, this one is, which is the next one? Have I got this one in the mix? Where did I put this one? Here we go. Is this it? Nope. Oh, where'd I put it? Oh, here it is. Um, this one is the Ivy. I think that's, oh, 
See, that's the problem with not looking at stuff before you do it. I'm thinking this might be, oh, what does it say? <laughs> I can't tell because it's all painted up. So let me scrape the paint with my fingernail off the back side. It says, what does it say? Ivy. ATC Ivy. Okay, so it is Ivy. And look what it does. So stinking cute. This one I was covering up and I'm going to do something on top of it. I want to do ivy, but I think I might do a very light color like a white. Okay, so there's that. And again, I like my circles. This one is with the off cut, off cuts. Nope, that's not the right word. This is the uh, weeding part where you poke out the innards to the stencil. Come on, let go, let go, let go. Okay, there is, I did this. That's called a mask, I guess. So that's what I tried to do down here, is this. And then another one's here, and then I used, a, I had it go this way, and I used another piece here. Then um, this next one, let's see, do I have that one here? No, I, didn't, I haven't used it yet. But um, this next one, are, oops, are trees that were the masks. And I have a tree stencil with all these lovely trees. And this was a grass. Here, let me show you. That was the grass that I did. I did it upside down. I turned the paper around. Well, okay, so that's that. All right, this is just colors. So I'm waiting to stamp stuff on them. Same thing for this. Oh yeah, there you go. There's this stuff you just saw, the reverse. Where is it? This and this. And then this is sunflowers. It did not go well. It's a blue and a red. This is my stamp, my stamp, my roll of paper, and I started off today with doing one of the most popular ones that she has is the bricks. Bricks. And this is an AT si ATC size, and then she has a, I think it's a six by six one that has different things on it. So this is small and easy. So what I did, this is what I did with it. I tried it in different colors and different methods of gel printing. So this is the bricks. Then I have, what is the other one? The Harlequin. Isn't that what they call this, the Harlequin? That's this one. And it's, you know, the ATC size. And I played around with it. And I did it with the blue uh, blue sponge, sponged on latex, the latex acrylic, acrylic paint. And then put the beige over it and picked it up. Then I just did the blue with white. And here's bricks. This is the first one I made after I opened up the box and got the stuff settled. This is a pink, pinkish brick one. The problem is, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there is the shape of a, <laughs> a tag that was evidently the last thing I printed on my gel plate. And so I have a tagged brick, <laughs> a brick tag. You can see the hole there and the sides and everything. It's really obvious in person. And then here's one I just did with red and white. I have been at this all day, literally all day, playing around with it. So um, I wanted to show you what I've been printing on. Now, I usually use computer paper, but I am going to be working on a, a journal where I don't want white paper in it. So. Well, when I was a personal chef, I had books, like four inch binders, and I had eight of them of recipes that I used on a regular basis for my customers, clients. So I have gotten rid of all that. So instead of throwing the paper away, I coffee dyed it, and then I print on the back side because this will be glued down and then you won't see the recipes on the other side. So that's basically all this is, is coffee dyed paper with recipes on the back. 
and the nutritional information because I did special diet cu customers, clients. See, that's all this is. I didn't waste any white computer paper. This stuff is probably, I don't know, 15, 17-year-old paper. So that's what this is. And I'm going to continue doing that. So let me pause the video for a second. And then I'm going to go get me a little stack of paper and we're going to jelly print. Here are my recipes. Like I said, I have a whole drawer full of these. And the back sides, usually the back side's empty. I did find one that was double printed, which surprised me because I didn't remember doing that. All right, so let's get the jelly plate. I'm using a five by seven jelly plate. Because I didn't want to move the, the stencils around a whole lot. So I, I wanted to use something small. And I I might have a jelly plate that's a five by uh, uh, ATC size, but I don't remember. All right, so the ones that I've already used, I'm gonna set aside and try something new. I picked out some that I wanted to try. Oh, there's the trees. Aha! Okay. So let me see, do I have green paint? Yes, I do. Let's do, I wanna do light green trees. So I have this limey stuff. Where's my, and I've been using my little Dollar Tree duck with uh, makeup sponges. And this is just apple barrel paint I got at Walmart, I presume. I'm trying to use all this up so that I can upgrade my paint and not use these things here, although these have a good purpose because that's what I could afford. All right, so, oh, you can't see this, can you? Uh, all right, there we go. So there's the little trees. And I'm just gonna blot the makeup sponge on them. I'll make sure I have good coverage. Bada bing, how's that? Oh, that's so cute. Um, so I, maybe I should, I, I, no, because the paint's on this side, I don't want to do that. I don't want to smear paint on it. Okay, so let's do this again. And we'll go right and have a half a tree on the edge. And this will be a jelly print that has one direction to it. All right, so let's got that. And my ceiling fan is on, so this stuff's going to dry mighty quick. See, now you can see this thing's a lot better. Adorable. Okay, so let's see what color do I want in the background. I think I want to do a light blue. No, because this is light, so maybe I need something a little darker. Um, you know what? I'm going to do double colors. There's the green. And then I'm going to do a dark blue for the sky. That still has impressions of stars on there from the um, from the stars that I did a few minutes ago. And roll off paper. Sometimes this ends up looking better than what I'm actually working on. Isn't that terrible? All right, here we go. Copy dyed paper down. And we have marinated bee skewers. <laughs> now I've done this a couple times and I'm, I'm gonna talk about this because this is something that in a class that I'm taking through Art Joy is sharing. Um, it happens in people who live in dry climates. Oh, the stars didn't show up, but the crinkles in the paper did. That looks interesting, huh? I kind of like that. Ooh, that's fancy. All right, um, so I still have the trees here, and I don't think I'm going to do another one with trees because I'll never get through this video so you can see more of the um, stuff. All right, so this one is circles. So I'm going to take this, and this is going to show up on the print. I don't really care. Um, what do I want to use? Uh, oh, I want to 
want to use purple. Let's use purple. Let's do purple. And I'm going to push this down a little bit. Then I'm going to take my sponge and blot it up. If I don't get it all up, it's no biggie. And yes, it does leave an impression where the line is, but I really don't care because a lot of this will be background paper anyway. So it's really not that big of an issue for me. If you're going to do something like a card where you need something a little more precise, yeah, this might be an issue for you, but I'm not doing anything like that. I think my days of being a card creator are pretty much over. Except for Christmas. I like doing cards at Christmas. All right, let's get that on there. Take that off. I don't know how much I have in here, but I, ha I might have enough to do this. And I didn't wait any time at all for this to dry in between. Oh, nice. I have a feeling I just wiped that on my face. Um, I did not wait in between doing the stencil and this because I have a ceiling fan going on in here and I live in a hot climate and I did have I did a couple where I did a yellow base and then blotted paint on for a stencil and went to pull it up and all the paper stuck to the all the pretty stuff stuck to the uh, jelly plate so I can't wait around. I need to get going. Okay, this did not turn out the way I'd hoped, but you can see. Nope, you can't. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do this different. We're gonna do. We're gonna make this work, Dad Gummit. All right. So let's take this. Put that on there, and then we'll use my ducky. And let's see, I can just use the navy blue one. And I'm just gonna pat my paint on here. And by the time I get done doing four of these, this is gonna be dried out. So I wanna make sure that I get my base coat on rather quickly. My, I mean my top coat. Oh, let's put a little green in there. Make it at Sighton. Oh, that looks much better than just a plain old purple. Huh. Okay. All right, let's put a little of that green with that purple. I kind of like the way that looks. A little more exciting. All right. So I'm going to lay this down on top of here again. Let's see if I can't get that green in there. There we go. All right, so then I'm gonna take this very light color here. Roll it on. Roll and lift, roll and lift. I have to remember to do that because I don't always roll and lift. And I hear that's the way you're supposed to be doing this. Hopefully this time it will work. All right, let me finally roll off paper and roll off. Okay. There we go. That's what I intended the last one to look like. Is this one called Bubbles? Oh, I have to scrape the paint off again. Oh my gosh. Oh, stinkies. Oh, circles. This one's called circles. Uh, let's do this. We're not very good at this part, are we? Circles. There we go. There's that one. Okay, I did this one, which was one of the ones I wanted to do while I was filming. 
All right, this one, let me do this before I put it on there. So this is called Lotus. So let me put this down. And this I'm going to do in a very dark green. What's this one called? Grass green. One of my favorite colors. Although I am getting sort of partial to that limey green color. What's this one called? Line Sherbert. <laughs> what a lucky guess. Whoa. All right. I want it to kind of seal itself to the plate. So it makes doing this a lot easier. This is just, you know, makeup sponge, wedgie sponge thing that you buy at uh, a dollar store, like Dollar Tree, or I don't know if Dollar General or Family Dollar has it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Perfect. Okay. This one ought to stick down. There you go. It's starting to stick right away because it's a little juicy on the bottom side. Okay, ding, two in a row. Let's do it this way and try not to mess up the other one. That might already be dry. No, it is not. <laughs> okay, that was not good. Eh, it'll be fine. Let me get this off the back side though. Let's kind of unschmoosh it. All right, let's do this. And then this should be okay after this. Oh, there's a booger. Mm -mm -mm. These are very old paints. That's why I'm trying to use them up and get rid of them. Oh, that looks cool. All right, so let's do... Do I want to do a pink? Oh, eee, uh. No, I want to do the lime green. <laughs> I can't help myself. All right, here we go. I can already tell it's dry. But that's okay with me. You know, that's part of the fun of doing jelly prints is hardly anything. Oop, there's a dog outside. It hard, any, hardly anything turns out the same way twice. And that can be a blessing and it also could be a curse. put this up here. My poor clients, they're like all over the internet now. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. And it picked up some of the purple. And it also left this lovely impression, which I doubt seriously I'm going to get a, a really good ghost print off of it. I think I'm going to try anyway, because why waste a good ghost print? Um, let's see. I'm going to well, do I want to do deep purple? <gasps> deep purple. Purple iris. Okay. I don't want to put it on too thick. I also don't want to get it too thin. I doubt seriously we're going to see anything, but that's okay because I can go back over it with the stencil and, you know, blot paint on top of it. No biggie. I don't even mind the wrinkles in my paper. See, it didn't, it didn't pick it up very well. I think it was not quite ghosty enough. I need more juice on the ghost. All right, so there's the lotus flower, or lotus. Let us look at this one before we stick it down there. This one is called, ooh, geez. This one is called wavy. Okay, wavy. All right, let's do this. Bing, bing, bing. 
Stick down, stick down, stick down. Dig, 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 dig. dig, 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 dig. All right. Um, actually, let me go with the green still because I got a lot of the paint over here. There we go. And up. Let's try something different. Let's go a different direction. this way. My goodness, I have a lot of green paint out. Ba-dum! Cool. Alright, so what do we want to roll over it? Now oh, let's do a pink. Ugh. That splattered everywhere. These are like, the reason I have them turned upside down is because most of these are on their way out. And when they start to get a funky smell, you know they've gone rant, your paints can go rancid. And some of mine are going rancid, so I thought, yeah, I better use them because um, I paid money for them and I need to use them up. Bulgur meatballs, lamb and bulgur meatballs. <laughs> And yes, I have actually made it, but I use pork. I don't use lamb or veal either one. Okay. Nice. Look at that. Our stencils work really well doing all kinds of things, and I just love them. All right, so there's that one. Let us do... Let me put that back in the box so I remember... Oh, it's dirty, so I'll know. Oh my word, this one's called Stripes. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I have the hiccups. Let me have a swig. All right, so I guess I need a lighter color on the bottom. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so smart. Sorry. I don't have a baby blue here. Oh, wait, do I? Okay. Yes, I do. But it's a tube. And it has boogers. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to add this to this. I don't care if my colors run together. It makes me no difference. Eh, let's use this one. Oh, there's a tree. Oh, we don't want to lose that. Okay. Oh, and there's a dot. My goodness. Uh, okay. I think I have enough paint on this sponge for like five different stencils. Nope. Oh, good. Let's put some of that in there. That's enough coverage. Uh, what do we want for a top coat? Let's do the. Do I want to do a dark blue? No. I have to do a lighter color so it'll show. Here comes yellow again. Although, no, yeah, I'm going to do yellow. Yellow and red are colors I don't have in a lot of my journals. And it's not because I don't like them. I just don't think about using them. And sometimes. I have more of one color than the other, so I try to use it up, and then I end up with way more of it on there than I want. All right, let's do it on the backside of this one. 
Let me put stripes away. And then the next one we will use, oh, nice. Next one we will use is the bow. Is that so what it says? Turn this way. Son of a gun. Lucky guess says bow. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Okay. So I probably could get a ghost print out of here. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to Ooh, that's way too much paint. Whoa. Well, at least it'll show up, right? This will make a lovely Christmas bow, or a Fourth of July bow, or a new baby bow, a fall bow, a spring bow. This is just a lovely stencil, period. Man, it's so stinking cute. There, okay. Yeah, but you know what? I didn't put anything over here. All right, that's enough. Stop, 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 stop. All right, I always go one step over the line. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pick a paint and hope it shows. Okay, so nice. Blah. Okay, my paint. My paper is starting, my runoff or roll off paper is starting to get really thick and stiff. <laughs> Oops, get it crooked. All right, let's do this. Bing. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the cool part is the stripe stencil that was there under the other one before showed up on this one. Looks very cool. I wish I'd gotten some of it in here, too. Next time I'll know to layer better. All right, see this? That is some cleanup goodness. So let us do this with a dark blue so it'll show up. I'm going to end up getting rid of almost all of these bottles in the next couple weeks, I think. I'm taking the jelly print class and... I'm trying to use these things in the jelly class so I can use them up. I want to buy tube paints now, better quality tube paints. All right, there goes the bow. We need to do the print. Oh, this one is pork and corn dressing. <laughs> I had my notebooks divided up. Chicken, pork, beef, vegetables, gluten-free, diabetic, Desserts. Uh, were there any others? I can't remember. I had a couple other people that had super specialized. No, nope, didn't do as well. Super specialized diets, like a renal, a kidney failure client. And um, I had a special book that I followed for her. Okay, so let us do. Oh, this was the peacock feather, and it says peacock. This is very cool. Let's see how we do with this. I think I really would like some purpley and blue and let's do some purples. Probably not that purpley. And then we'll do some blue. And then a wee bit of green. and then kind of mush them all together. Oh, maybe 
the purple was just a little overbearing, a little too much. All right, so I'm going to take this. I'm just going to do the little individual tails. Oh, not bad, huh? Actually, I kind of like that. I think that would look good with red and green and gold, or red and green and silver. Sort of like a Christmassy sort of thing. All right, let's try this again. I really like this. I wasn't sure about the peacock. Wasn't sure. But I think I kind of like it. Plotting purple, green, light blue. I think I may have mushed it all together. Nope. Hit. <laughs> all right, so if I can see through here, that should go there. I know there are other people out there way better at jelly printing than I am. You might be able to get something, you know, way better than this. I wonder how this would look with watercolor. If you could get this to kind of really stick to the plate and then do watercolor. I think that would be beautiful. Okay. There we go. There's another one. Got them too close together, but I like the way they look. This is a nice stencil. Okay, there is Peacock. There's that. Am I out of my sample things I wanted to try? All right, let me look at some of these others that are... Oh, here, this this one. Hang on. Yeah. Okay, this one, uh, is this going to say wood? Wood grain. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to do this with what little I've got left of the beige, or what is this called? Khaki, excuse me. Oh my, I have blue on it too. Oh well, it's only a jelly print. It's not a lifetime commitment. All right. Oh, that looks awesome. Let's do Bit of green and tan. Oh, and there we go. Throw in the peacock purple. <laughs> Bing. This is so much fun. I could sit here for hours doing this. But I don't think I have enough drawer space to accommodate that. Okay, so right here is where I tend to get a little heavy because I see that in every one of them. So. All right, let's see what we get. Well, this seems to be the wink link here. I'm putting too much on this one. Nevertheless, I like the way it looks. All right, let's try brown. Ooh. Come on. Oh, squirt it out sideways. Okay, so you can tell there's a clog in that. And now my... Now my roller is sticking, Briar is sticking to my roll-off paper. All right, let's see what we got going here. Oh, I don't want to do that over the peacock feather. Let's try this. Pork and corn dressing. You already see that one? Very subtle, but you 
can still see it. I think maybe the brown background was not the best choice. Anywho, here's that one. All right, so I've done and shown, and you've seen prints made by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen ATC sized um, stencils. I still have this many more to do. <laughs> Not today. Oh, but I will tell you what they are. How about I do that? Okay, let me get this off of here and find more solid color paper so you can see the stencil. All right, so this one, I bet, is this one called Shamrock? Well, let me bet you. Clover, excuse me. Clover. Let me put you down further so you can see it a little better. Clover. Whoa, you're not going to see with all those bottles. There we go. How's that? Let me put these bottles over here. That's Clover. This one is called Paws. Look at that. Animal tracks. This looks like a raccoon. That looks like maybe a bear. And those are turkey tracks. Or chicken. Nope, turkeys. Are they turkeys? Isn't that cute? This one is a Celtic knot. Is it not? A knot? Something knot. Yeah, it's Celtic knot. Or Celtic. There's that one. Then there is, oh, what's this one called? Bridge. That's lovely. And this one is an owl. For all you guys that collect owls, this would be a great one to add to your collection. This one is cactus. This one I've had a while and I've used it in a couple things is the American flag. Uh, is this one called rain or water? It's called rain. Ah, oh, what a guess. I haven't looked at these. I haven't read the little thing. They're right down here. There's rain. This is cool. Let's see. This is, oh, well, Vicki, turn around so you can see it. Upside down. Blah. This is called grass. So this is grass down here, down, you know, here. And then you have the clouds up above it. Isn't that cool? I just think these are so amazing. Are these geese? What's it called? Birds. In the V form. They remind me of Canadian geese. Uh, what's this one? This one is called bow tie. Is this hearts? This one is called hearts. <laughs> is this one heartbeat? Oh, sure enough it is. <laughs> Guys, I swear I did not know the names of these before I looked at them. <laughs> what is this, a dove? say a bird flying okay wow. all right so there are all of the things that I got gifted today in one lovely collage box by my friend Cindy Utter which I think is so stinking cute and then I got all of these ATCs from my friend Carla at what if NC I will put the link to her Etsy store down below so you can shop yourself plum silly. I just, oh wait, I guess we need to go back out again, right? So you can see the mess. All right, so I did, I think I did about half of them. And then just go in here sideways and we close up the little box. All done. Okay, everybody, I know it was a long video. I don't usually do them this long, but I just was having so much fun. 
I will see you in the next video. Happy printing uh, with What If NC stencils. Bye, everybody.